Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we'll do a detailed FAQ of the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max and the Redmi Note 10 Pro. So we have the Redmi Note 10 uh, Pro and the Pro Max with us. Both are exactly the same except for the camera, and uh, you can see that uh, there is a uh, chrome-like finish over the camera, the 108 megapixel camera. Uh, on the Pro, we have the 64 megapixel camera. So uh, this FAQ is combined of uh, these two devices. So both of them are exact same hardware except for the camera sensor. So we'll be uh, talking about all the aspects uh, including uh, uh, the detailed FAQ generally what we do for uh, all the smartphones. So that is what we're going to cover. It will be around uh, 20 plus point FAQ. We'll be co covering all the aspects including uh, the build quality, the Gorilla Glass protection, the software, LED notification, fingerprint, uh, battery, uh, then uh, camera to API, Gcam support, everything we'll cover in this detailed FAQ. Before getting started, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's begin. So first and foremost thing is the display. So display is one of the massive upgrades uh, on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and the Pro Max. So if we go to the display settings, uh, we have the 120Hz refresh rate. So here we go. So 60Hz and uh, you can see that 120Hz is offered here. So that's one of the massive upgrades uh, in the Redmi Note uh, 10 Pro and the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max. So uh, refresh rate is 120Hz and uh, the display is one of the best we have seen in this price segment. So this comes with uh, 1200 nits of brightness, 100% DCI P3 color gamut, HDR10 enabled display and this is a super AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate. So it feels really smooth and vibrant and uh, you can also customize the display uh, color tones. Uh, so you can uh, play around with the display setting. So it's one of the best displays without doubt in the sub 20k price segment. Now that's the display aspect. Now uh, many of you have been asking us about the build quality. Now this device comes with a glass uh, finishing on the front and the back panel. It's uh, 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 it is a plastic frame actually. This is a plastic frame, but this is glass finishing. In fact, uh, many of you have been asking us whether there is a gorilla glass protection on the back panel. In fact, uh, there is no gorilla glass protection. It is actually fingerprint magnet. You can see that a lot of uh, fingerprint. Uh, gets accumulated on the back panel. Now this variant is uh, frosted uh, finishing while uh, the black variant is uh, uh, kind of uh, glossy finishing. So you can see here both the variants, uh, the glossy as well as the matte finishing. Now uh, this is made of glass and this is a, a toughened glass. It's not a Gorilla Glass. Uh, we have a Gorilla Glass 5 on the display. So that's the only protection. Display has Gorilla Glass 5 and you also get a screen guard protected. Now uh, you get a toughened glass here. So this is uh, not a Gorilla Glass. So that's the display quality now uh, or rather the uh, build quality now it's a really good as uh, a premium build especially the camera layout everything looks really great the build quality feels really superb and uh, the fit and finish and uh, everything looks really great on this device now the gorilla glass as i said before gorilla glass 5 support on the display now sim cards now here is the sim card so we get uh, a dedicated sd card slot so there is uh, a dual sim card support and dedicated sd card support and the storage variants are you get 64 gigabyte and 128 gigabyte storage and the ram variants are uh, 8 gigabyte ram and 6 gigabyte ram now we get uh, lp ddr 4x ram and uh, the storage is UFS 2.2 support. So, so UFS 2.2 is uh, much faster than the UFS 2.1. So this device comes with UFS 2.2 support. Now next is the software. So this device uh, comes with uh, the MIUI. So here you can see that MIUI version is MIUI 12.0.6. That's the global variant and it is on top of Android 11 and uh, MIUI 12.5 is coming soon. So uh, that will bring in more features. So uh, this is uh, quite similar to uh, any other smartphone with MIUI. So we have covered a detailed tips and tricks. You can check out that video as well. Now talking about the performance of so this device is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 732G which is a pretty good chipset for this price segment. It's an upgrade over the Snapdragon 720G uh, uh, launched with uh, the Redmi Note 10, Note 9 Pro and Pro Max last year. So it's an upgrade and uh, the performance is really good on this device. Uh, it's a pretty smooth experience especially with the, the new AMOLED display overall uh, it feels really smooth. Now gaming performance, we have done a detailed gaming test. You can check out that gaming video. Gaming was pretty good on this device, although the heating was uh, definitely on the higher side. It went up to 48 degrees, almost 47, 48 degrees. So uh, heat generated is definitely on the higher side, but uh, the gaming experience overall was quite good on this device. 
Now talking about the LED notification, so this device does not come with any LED notification. Uh, this has a, an always on display, so you can actually customize the always on display. So there you go, you can see here always on display is there. And there is also this uh, animation uh, that's edge lighting kind of uh, finishing available uh, on this. So this will notify you of uh, any new notification. So that's the only option available. Now next let's talk about the fingerprint scanner. So we'll uh, test the fingerprint scanner with uh, this device we have already set up here. So we'll just test it here. So I'll just show you once again. So there you go. Extremely fast uh, unlocking. So again, uh, uh, now let's uh, let's also see uh, the face unlock. So there you go. So again, it's fast. It's not the fastest out there, but it is really fast uh, in terms of fingerprint scanner and face unlock. Now there is also USB OTG functionality on this device just like any uh, Redmi uh, smartphone you get uh, USB OTG functionality. Now talking about the sensors, uh, again uh, we have installed the sensors app uh, so it comes with magnetic sensor, accelerometer, uh, light uh, proximity, gyroscope. Now it's a 360 degree light uh, sensor included so those are the sensors available. Now uh, camera that's one of the important things now uh, here you can see that uh, if you look at the camera on these two devices the only difference here is that if you go to the uh, about uh, more settings so here we have a 108 megapixel sensor I mean uh, uh, Samsung's HM2 sensor you can see here now here uh, we have the 64 megapixel Samsung GW3 sensor so those are the two differences this is f-stop uh, uh, f1.9 uh, aperture while uh, the 64 megapixel is f1.79 aperture that's the difference now we have done a detailed camera comparison you can also check out that uh, camera comparison to see how they performance in, in terms of camera aspect now both are really good in terms of camera performance both did a really good job and uh, we have a detailed camera review as well so check out that video to get an idea about how the cameras are now battery now both of the devices comes with 5020 mAh capacity battery and you get 33 watt fast charging now the fast charging was in the really fast uh, it took around 1 hour 15 minutes uh, to charge uh, which is in the uh, really fast we're not really sure whether any uh, update will fix it uh, probably uh, maybe software update might fix it we are not really sure about that now charging time is 1 hour 50 minutes what we got and uh, battery performance is really good uh, we got around 8 to 9 hours easily on this device again it depends upon uh, person to person the apps you use so you can easily get around 9 hours plus is what we expect again uh, uh, if your usage is minimal you might get even more than that uh, that's again depending upon user to user now next uh, let's uh, talk about the widewine l1 support so you can see here uh, l1 is the security uh, level so widewine l1 is supported on this device now another thing many of you have been asking us is uh, the camera to api so you can see here full uh, uh, support uh, that's le level 3 support that means you, you get full support uh, uh, for the camera to api that means you can install uh, gcams on this device gcam apk can be installed on this device now this device uh, comes with uh, 4G LTE, uh, you can see that uh, there is 4G LTE, a uh, dual 4G LTE and uh, dual VoLTE supported, you get carrier aggregation and a voice over Wi-Fi is there, so you can also see that uh, right now you can see voice over Wi-Fi in action, so uh, you get all the network connection, this is a 4G enabled device, there is no 5G support on this device, so that's the uh, 4G uh, support. Now uh, next uh, is there is also IP53 rating now we have done a detailed video on IP rating so it's not a water resistant coating but it can uh, take uh, some splashes so you can check out that video to get an idea about uh, uh, how the IP rating is uh, so uh, this is uh, already uploaded on our channel. Now talking about the speaker performance so uh, we'll just uh, show you a sound uh, test uh, so we have downloaded a song and then we'll uh, just uh, show you the sound test. So it has dual stereo speakers, so one at the bottom and one at the top. So that's a sound uh, test of this device uh, and uh, it has a really good performance in terms of sound quality. 
now next uh, is the colors so, so there are three colors one is this uh, vintage bronze then is you get uh, the dark knight and also there is uh, uh, a blue color uh, then uh, there is a glacial blue color so these are the three colors available and uh, the pricing uh, redmi note uh, 10 pro pricing starts at 15 triple nine then uh, you have a 16 triple nine variant uh, with a 6 gigabyte ram and 128 gigabyte storage and uh, 8 gigabyte ram and 128 gigabyte storage is priced uh, 18 triple nine now redmi note uh, uh, 10 pro max is priced starting 18 triple nine uh, 19 triple nine and the top end variant with 8 gigabyte ram and uh, 128 gigabyte storage is priced 21 triple nine so those are the pricing and availability is available on me.com and amazon and uh, you have to wait for the flash sale that now that's something which you have to live with uh, the flash sale now many of you have been asking uh, about the ads on uh, this device now what uh, xiaomi has clarified is that there are no third party ads on uh, the uh, redmi note uh, 10 uh, series now what it means is that previously if you look at the file manager you could see ads in the file manager uh, even if you uh, go to the security app you could see if, uh, ads uh, uh, in the file manager uh, then uh, the security app then if you go to the themes if you open some theme you could see that uh, ads in the themes so those ads have been removed now what uh, uh, ads it shows is that it may show ads of, uh, of system apps for example uh, it, uh, some apps like a uh, me pay might uh, show some ads of me pay itself so those are the ads it might uh, come but uh, you won't get any third party ads is what uh, xiaomi has said to us that's clarified so it may not be having the ads like what you saw on the redmi note 9 uh, uh, series but this is much improved and cleaner ui and you can also uninstall all the apps uh, pre-installed apps uh, you can uninstall except for the systems core apps even the get apps have been uh, improved it just provides uh, suggestions and uh, there won't be any ads uh, here as well so uh, a lot of things have been improved by xiaomi here so uh, uh, you can see that this uh, device definitely looks like a great deal out there so that's the detailed faq of the uh, redmi uh, note uh, 10 pro and the Note, redmi note 10 uh, uh, pro max so these are the two devices we have and if you still have any doubts uh, you can just ask in the comment section we'll be uh, glad to help you out with uh, your queries so that was the detailed faq hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day